a couple of weeks ago my uh, Kawasaki jet ski almost sank and uh, it was due to one of the cooling hoses one of the ones back there at uh, I guess the hose clamp came loose well since that has happened I have decided it is definitely time to install a uh, bilge pump um, I've gone with automatic bilge pump one with a float uh, there's a couple different ones out there um, I decided to go with this C flow 750 gallon per hour pump 12 volt um, there's some out there that are automatic but they're timed automatic two and a half minutes before they'll turn on uh, my ski sunk in less than two and a half minutes so I opted with the float one that one has a built-in float it also has a uh, just a on so you need a three position switch and I'm going to try as I do this to cover um, everything and all the pieces that I bought um, obviously you want to put it as low in the hole as you can so I'm going to have to take some stuff loose and uh, see what I can uh, see what kind of place I can find to mount this thing I've been going round and round on where to mount this uh, bilge pump at in here uh, I originally wanted to go over on the uh, port side that there's just too much going on down there so I'm back over here um, I think I found me a place Let me move some of this out of the way. right here next to the engine mount uh, motor mount and it's flat it's nice and flat right here I know it's very hard to see because of this crappy light uh, but what I want to do is um, take some sandpaper rough it up because it is really really slick and I'm going to use where is it my JB weld yeah, that stuff is awesome and I am going to take this aluminum plate and I've scarred it up roughed it up and I'm going to glue it down there to give me a good mount for my pump Let's see here's my uh, see the plate and it's just about the right size for this so uh, this is about, I don't know, a little over an eighth inch piece of aluminum. So I'm going to go ahead and mix up my JB Weld and uh, get this thing in here. All right, I got my plate mounted, and it, uh, it's in there good. The JB Weld really did the job. Now, this is where people might be like, why did I even watch this? Because the way I'm actually going to attach it to the plate is... Um, yeah, Velcro. I'm going to put it on the bottom of the uh, basket here. And I'm just going to see how well it sticks after I clean everything off real good. Okay, I trimmed my Velcro and it, uh, it really stuck good there. And I got my other, the, uh, I put kind of the fuzzy part on the bottom of the basket and I put the hook part down there and uh, on the plate. And everything seems like it sticks pretty good. So, uh, let's see if I can get this in here and stick it in place and see how it feels. And that's got a very good hold. Oh, yeah. Good enough. I'm just going to have the hose holding it down plus a couple other things going over top of it. Um, I'm going to see how it works. If it turns out that this was an incredibly stupid idea, I'll come up with something else. Uh, but... I think that's going to work. Hopefully I can get the pump in there. Oh yeah, it's a wire. Okay. Because I'm going to have this cable going over top of it as well, holding it down. So I don't think it's going to go anywhere. I know other people that barely have them, uh, a little bit of silicone on it and stuck in there. So uh, let me, I guess time to move on to getting the uh, outlet put in. Well, about the only place I could find a mountain switch is right here. Uh, it's pretty flat behind it. This is just a fake cover so I can't put it you know over here. I got the, the storage bin and cover here so if I want to have it external where I can get to it quick this is about the only place I can put it. So um, my first time drilling through a hole I'm just going to use a standard drill bit. Never done it before and um, hope for the best. So uh, 
I can't film and do this at the same time, so I'm going to have to uh, just show you either the fantastic results or horrible aftermath. All right, well, there's the uh, results. Uh, it, it did a nice job. Uh, like I said, I just used a uh, regular drill bit and uh, even a cordless drill, and uh, looks like this is going to be a good spot for it. And I got a waterproof cover for it. I'm going to seal all this up really, really good. So uh, I got to start working on the wiring. Okay, when it comes to the wiring, um, I didn't go buy marine wire because basically, if you I go with stranded copper, number one. Number two, make sure it says it's gas and oil resistant. And number three, make sure the temperature is high enough on it that uh, it'll, you know, it, it's safe to use. But um, I'm not going to spend any extra money for marine wiring when it's basically the exact same thing, just jacked up in price. Um, I bought these copper lugs to hook up to my battery. Um, I'm going to go ahead and lock tight them, and I'm also going to coat them with, uh, you know, I forgot to bring it, but I got the uh, liquid tape. I'm going to liquid tape everything, all the joints. Uh, everything I solder is going to be soldered and then liquid tape and sealed up, zip tied. So I'm going to get started doing uh, some of the wiring. Okay, here's my lug, and uh, I'm putting this on the uh, positive side. And one thing I forgot to mention, make sure you get a uh, waterproof proof fuse holder. And uh, like I said, I went ahead, tinned the wire, and uh, used some Loctite, tightened everything down. And now I'm going to coat uh, pretty much all but the contact part of this with uh, liquid tape. All right, I had some extra hose, so I decided to go ahead. I'm going to run the wiring along the bottom of the ski. But I really didn't like all these wires just flopping loose and I have plenty of room so I just went ahead and used this like a conduit. Um, I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and uh, once I get everything wired I'm going to pump the ends full of uh, silicone and just seal it off and put probably as many of my um, connections as possible inside here. So it just helps protect the wire from you know either getting hot or rubbed or whatever. Uh, since I had it laying around, I thought I'd do that. One other thing, uh, it, I just bought one color wire, which is red. All of these are actually going to be hot wires anyway, but um, it would have been helpful to get a couple different colors, but didn't really need all that wire, so I just marked the ends so I'll know what, which one's what. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in and start doing my connections. Alright, I got majority of the wiring done. I've got it hooked up to the battery. I got my fuse in, I got my pump down there, which is, the Velcro seems to be doing a really good job. Uh, not to mention I got this cable laying over top of it. I still got to uh, get the hose clamp and stuff on there, but I got my um, hose here with the, I'm using as a conduit, I haven't fastened it down yet, and I haven't sealed the ends. And then I got the switch, which is actually not... A marine switch, but by the time I'm done with it, it's going to be one. I'll show you the end product, but I don't know if you can hear it, but let me switch it on. And that's on all the time. Off. And that is float. So I can reach down here and test it using the little float test. So that works. So got to just uh, kind of clean things up and I still have to drill the hole for the outlet. All right, I'm ready to drill my hole uh, for the outlet and I've chosen to go with this uh, 3 quarter inch 90 degree. Uh, I've looked at several different places of putting this and uh, absolutely every place I came up with uh, there was a problem, something in the way, um, uh, the fake little panels in the way. I wanted to put it up front so I could see it if uh, you know something went wrong and a pump kicked on. I could see water coming out, kind of like your your uh, heating tube. Anyway, the only place I can find, the highest place I can find that I can actually mount it is right about here. And there's even stuff in the way now. But um, then I go to drill the hole. I wanted to use an electric drill. Of course, I can't because of the edge here. So I'm going to have to go with my cordless. Um, 
hopefully. Now, I have never done this, so uh, let's see what happens. Ooh. Wow. That was way easier than I thought it would be. That's scary. Hey, look at that. That's going to be nice. Well, that... Yeah, I'm even surprised. Nothing ever goes that well for me. <laughs> All right, and I'm also going to use uh, this E6000 adhesive. It's waterproof. It remains kind of flexible, but it's, um, like I said, it's an adhesive. It's not like silicone. Uh, I'm going to coat everything with that and uh, tighten it down, get my hose hooked up, and uh, see what we got when I get done. Okay, I got everything down here done. Uh, everything's wired. Uh, zip tied. I got my silicone down in there for my and my conduit to seal it up. Um, I just shoved some uh, a paper towel up in it to kind of do a backer, and then filled about an inch of it up with silicone. Got my hose run over here. Here's my um, the output, and I got that glued. Got my clamps. And one thing about the clamps: make sure you get stainless steel. Um, I actually did get these at an auto parts store and people were talking about the screws being steel. If you got any questions, just use a magnet. If it sticks, it's steel. If it doesn't, it's uh, stainless. So these did not stick, so they are solid as stainless. And uh, so I'm getting ready to put this back together back here. About the switch, I haven't mounted it yet. And I said it wasn't a marine switch. Well, what I did was just coat it with a few coats of... Um, liquid electrical tape which is waterproof seals everything up I don't know how long it'll last I might have to replace it but it's going to come through to the outside and I have the uh, I got a little rubber cap it's got a gasket on it so that should seal it up so I'm gonna go ahead and install okay. that switch installed I'll get it set to where forwards is automatic center off and back is on so now I'm gonna put this thing together and I'm actually going to test this all right it's uh, nighttime I finally got everything back together. I just kind of want to show it finished up. Uh, there's my outlet. Let me pull the seat. Hey, uh, wait a second. Uh, you probably can't see too much down in there. There's a the hose coming over to my outlet over here. I probably don't need to do this, but I kind of want to. I'm going to simulate my uh, ski flooding with a garden hose. So I'm going to put that down in the bottom. Pretty much where my hose came loose at. And I'm going to time this. And I'm a little, a little nervous. <laughs> Get my other light out here so I can kind of watch the water level in there. Uh, it should not get up barely to the engine because the, uh, the pump is actually down right at the base of the mount. So all right, this may be really stupid. Let's see what happens here. Let me turn the water on, and I'm going to have to hit my stopwatch at the same time. Uh, all right, here we go. All right, well, two seconds in. I'm going to watch the water level in here. And I can see it moving under there. Okay, it's 21 seconds. I can see it coming up. And it's not quite to the pump yet. I do have it tilted back slightly, kind of uh, trying to indicate riding position. Might not be that far enough. Alright. There it is. Still not to the pump. And we're one minute in. I kind of thought it would, uh. I thought it would be faster than this. Okay, one minute and 20 seconds in. Oh, 
and I'm trying to see where it is. Whoa! Uh, there it is. <laughs> wow! Look at that screen. That's crazy. Let's see if it can. I wonder if it can maintain. Okay, I'm watching the water level. It is actually maintaining. It is the water level is not rising. So it's able to keep up with the garden hose at full blast. Okay, I'm gonna shut the water off. Get my hose out. I thought it'd shut off a little faster than that, but losing it. Yeah, it took it about two minutes to fill. Now it's hitting the bottom and it shut back off. Yeah, it did not, the, the water level barely got over top of the motor mounts. So, uh, and with it shooting out that far, I think I would notice that. Wow, I did not, I thought it might just barely clear the side but uh, all right well I'm gonna pull my plugs get the rest of the water out here I'd say it's a success